Thank you everyone for coming. We are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Lazy and Maria. Do you, Lazy, take this beautiful woman to be your wife and live happily together for the rest of your life and all that fake BS that you have to agree, which is technically just a warning. I do. And you, Maria, what do you, what do you think? Are we... Yes, no, maybe. Is that a is that a yes? Is that like a yes in zombie language? We'll take that as a yes. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Maria, you can go ahead and bite him, devour his flesh, kill him, suck his blood off with your teeth, murder him right on the spot. Wait, hold up. Bite me like on the neck? We're about to take Instagram pictures. I don't want people to see that my wife just bit me on the neck. Can we do somewhere else? that they can't see? I wouldn't mind that. Maria, what do you think? A couple months ago, we saw a woman who was attracted to chandeliers and she actually proposed and married one of the chandeliers. She was actually cheating on the chandelier with a couple of other chandeliers and she was also doing the Statue of Liberty, so she was technically cheating on her. Amanda has traveled to the US six times to gaze longingly at the 93 meter tall statue. Why is she touching she you like that? He calls Libby. Libby? Like now we have a woman who married a zombie doll, Kelly. Like, is the zombie doll called Kelly or is that like a brand? She married a brand zombie doll called Kelly? Thank you oh. guys so much. I'm so glad you're here. Kelly, I love you. Oh, this and is not bad. Happy anniversary and happy birthday. This to is you cute. And me. Happy oh my god. To you! To many more years, and I hope our family continues to grow. Oh my god, that actually made me cry. That scared the fuck out of me. How are they gonna start the video with such cute background music, make it so wholesome, and then insert the creepiest fucking voices that you've ever heard of? What was that mix? To you and me. That's like trying to mix energy drinks with milk. Ew. My name is Felicity Cadillac Rossi and I have a Halloween doll family. Robert and Kelly are both my partners and these are- Wait, our partners? Wait, so she married two of them? She's in a polygamy relationship. Children, I love them like, like, like as if they were my own. Ooh. Me, Robert, and Kelly, we love the kids and they're very special to me. So this is Kelly, okay. my wife. We got married back in 2018. Oh. Oh, they- You didn't have to go so hard on that kiss. Like, I mean, yeah, it's your wedding, but usually people go for a quick smooch, especially when all of your relatives are watching. And by relatives, we have a zombie daughter, a zombie daughter, a zombie son, and a zombie clown son and her zombie son. Zombie daughter, a zombie daughter, a zombie son and her zombie son. Wait, did anyone in this wedding have a pulse? At least the priest wasn't a zombie though because they blurred the face. Or was he a zombie as well and they blurred the face and they wanted to protect his identity so he wouldn't get harassed by the zombie community because he attended what the zombies call a wedding with a pulse. When I was 10, I found Kelly on a creepycollection.com site and I had to have her and my dad... Not trying to zombie shame anyone, but she really saw this, you know, she took a good look at this and she was like, that is the cutest zombie doll I have ever seen. I am in love with that eye color. It's so adorable. If I saw this face in the middle of the night, like when I'm sleeping and then I just randomly wake up because I heard something and then right next to me is this face, I would probably shit myself. Said if I get good grades in school, he'll let me have her. And by the time I was 13, Kelly was mine. And then our love started to grow as time went on. Talk about a real relationship and did anyone take a look at Kelly? Looks like Kelly definitely matured a little bit. The girl never got any taller, but her boobs definitely like Damn, is Kelly hitting the gym though? Look at those. Holy shit, Kelly. 
I see you. She could probably fuck someone up. We got her in physical body form. We started to grow and become friends and closer, and then we ended up falling in love. So me and Kelly both have wedding rings. What about And we the both husband? have the tattoo. It's a little faded, but that's okay. It's still there. I don't really see Kelly's tattoo. Did Kelly? <gasps> Oh my god, Kelly got a tattoo laser removal and she probably said, Oh, uh, the tattoo that I had of your name, sweetie, faded away. Yeah, that happens with tattoos. They usually fade away. And the marks that you're seeing right now are probably just mosquito bites. You know how bugs like dead things? And you know me, <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god, yeah, like I'm literally dead. And yeah, they like to bite me and they, they give me these rashes. You know, over the years, Kelly has changed. You know, she used to have a really bloody face, you know, one eye shut. I like to go shopping with Kelly. It's fun and it actually helped me with my depression. You know, I got her remade. She's more like uh, that type of zombie that like has just been embalmed and like they rose from the grave kind of thing because her face is more like, you know, skin toned and- I would be turned on as well looking at Kelly here. I'm like- Damn, Kelly, what's with the mouth? You little slut, close it up. Like, oh my God. Kelly. I said close your mouth, Kelly. You guys know what Kelly's favorite aisle is at the grocery store? The meat section. I, I just think that as, as time went on, I just started like treating the dolls more like people. Oof, oh, <gasps> oh my God. These are some creepy These ones. These are my other partners. Other? 38, he's 37, and she's 39. Okay, I'm all about this relationship. I 100% support her, I really do. You got me fucked up. I would literally shit my- Bowie is, has a British accent. She's from, as uh, what I feel, she's from London, England. <laughs> Um, is very intelligent, very witty. He's all happy and fun. He kind of reminds me of Ted the bear. Yes, I am romantic with, with all of them, but mo mainly it's usually Kelly, 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 Kelly. I go through Ooh. little phases like a court. So our favorite doll is Kelly, but she also has side bitches. Courtney over here looks like she works for Starbucks and she doesn't deal with anyone's bullshit. So if you don't like the drink that Courtney makes, <laughs> Courtney will eat you. I go through little phases like a Courtney, 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 or Tommy, Tommy, Zoe, Zoe. Sometimes it feels like I'm actually really falling in love all over again, but I know I always keep going. So when she's feeling a little bottles of water, teas, and crumpets, she goes for Zoe here? Wow, you're freaky. So this is Zoe, she's British. Zoe, show him your teeth. Zoe, don't get grumpy on me. I know we've been recording for a while, but Zoe, relax. Zo Zoe, you're making me look bad in front of the kid. Hold up, everyone. It's Zoe's tea time. Here you go, sweetie. Here's your human flesh flavored tea. So usually I share the bed with Kelly. If not, sometimes I'm sharing the bed with Robert or both, you know, so oh, I like to cuddle with her, you know, put her hair in my ear, stuff like that. Freaky. When I was 19, my adopted father died and then I was kind of left, I felt like with nobody that I got put back with my biological family. Oh no, I can already tell that this is gonna get sad real quick. The music changed, the tone of her voice changed. I don't know if I'm prepared for this because I know there's gonna be a crazy story behind this entire thing. They took advantage of me. They, oh my God. these people wanted me to like have a baby for them and I was about what? to do it. And the lady would mess with my emotions. She would pretend to be possessed by my dad, Charlie. And she did a lot of stuff. And so one day I told her, I don't want to have your baby anymore. And she kicked me out. You can hate her relationship and her fetish when it comes to zombie dogs, but you cannot deny that her and Kelly met when she was 10 and they've been together ever since. Plus they're married. Your ass can't even get a text back. If they wanted to, they would. So all these dolls have been with me through, through, through emotionally traumatic experiences, especially Kelly. And a lot of people aren't- Kelly looks really dead here. It looks like she just graduated college. Not that she actually studied or anything and she graduated, but she ate the entire class. So there was no one else to graduate. So they had to graduate someone. And since Kelly was the only student left, they graduated Kelly. And a lot of people aren't going to agree with it because they think, oh, it's too scary or it's too, but you know something- I mean, it is scary, you but you do you. If they were human children with scars or with missing eyes or with- Kelly does not give a fuck about your fries. Give her the quarter pounder. Give her the beef. She wants all the beef that McDonald's has. <coughs> 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 
Fries? Are you trying to kill me? You know that I'm allergic to anything that's not meat. Get your ass back there and give me all the beef that they have. And if they're overstaffed, which... This is McDonald's. These guys are never overstaffed. If somehow they're overstaffed, grab one of the employees. I'm feeling extra hungry today. Mm. This cake is good. <laughs> I know that my dolls aren't really alive fit physically, but I believe we spiritually Ooh, connect. Those are creepy. I do believe Jesus. that they can communicate with me through dream, thought, feeling. It's very, very sacred to me. Normally when I do the dishes, I have Kelly with me. Mm -hmm. We can just be doing things together and yeah. This is probably the most relatable part of this video where you're doing the dishes and your husband, wife, sister, brother, whatever you have, they're just standing there looking at you doing the dishes, pretending that they're doing something, but they're just being useless. And that's Kelly right there. She's not actually doing anything, but hey, at least she's there physically, you know? That's her contribution. I like to go out to eat with Kelly, especially at the Chinese restaurant because she, I like shrimp and she likes broccoli. <laughs> Girlie, Kelly, do you trust want to taste my me. Broccoli? good. I like it too. It likes the sauce. It's always nice taking Kelly out for a bite to eat, but... Yeah, because she's like biting people. What people might say. Kelly's favorite part at the restaurant is not the food, it's the people. She's not coming to your Chinese restaurant because she enjoys the food. Have you noticed that every time you go to the bathroom, there's one less employee when you come out? You know why? Because Kelly is eating them! Kelly, I think of her as a person, and some people don't think of her that way, so they don't treat her that way. I'm not... I'm not an evil person, and I'm not possessed, and I'm and she's not possessed, and I'm not gonna stop loving. Wow, look at all those pictures. That's a lot more pictures than what you have. How do you feel? Sad and depressed? Yeah, figured. A woman with a zombie doll has more pictures of her romantic wedding and her life than what you'll ever have. Oh my God, I honestly don't have any pictures like that. Why is this so sad? This is making me feel sad about my life now. Whether my past was good or bad or whatever mixed together, I mean, my life went totally perfect. And I'd still be with Kelly because I noticed that I just draw to inanimate objects like dolls and stuff like that. It's object from sexuality. But okay. I don't really like to consider it that way because my dolls don't look like objects. They look like people. I would say they look more like zombies who would actually eat me if they were alive. But I mean, sure, you can call them people if you want. I don't... Not judging here, as long as they don't eat me. Depends on what they're eating though. For the people that want to know why, I don't know why because that's just the way I am. Yeah, she's feel happy. Feel a feeling like somebody can feel God or Jesus like talking to them. I, that's how I feel with my dolls. I don't really hear things and I'm not mentally ill when it comes to that. But Kelly helps why, why does she make so much sense though? I get it, it's not the norm, but I'm not gonna sit here and hate her just because she loves dolls. Like yes, I 100% agree that it's weird, it's very weird, she had a lot of childhood trauma, and this is her coping mechanism, so why would I hate her because she likes to do zombie dolls? Okay, honestly, where are the tapes? I want to see the fucking tapes. I'm a curious person, and I wish she had an OnlyFans. Hate on me, but don't you want to know what happens behind cameras? No? Maybe it's just me then, I don't know. While I'm brushing my teddy bear's wig here, you can go ahead and like and subscribe for me real quick and become a member so you can watch my videos a day early. And I know that a lot of people say that I, that I should brush this wig, but... How? How do I... Oh my god, it's breaking my comb! How am I supposed to brush this shit? Brush? Oh my god, it's stuck. Yeah, I'd rather set this shit on fire. If I had a lighter right here... Remember, you might have judged Felicity's relationship, but at the end of the day, you're still single. Oh my god, this hurt... This comb hurts! No wonder why it was a dollar. This is all metal. Like, loose metal. Ow!